Hello and welcome to another video in my eToro learning series. Now, a question that I often get is, what's the best way to add funds into my eToro account? Now, there's a couple of different ways of answering that. Now, obviously the first statement of fact is the fact that your eToro account is in US dollars. So, if your base currency is in US dollars, then it is simply just a case of clicking deposit funds, picking your way of loading your money into your account and continue and you're done. However, if you are one of the other currencies and you need to transfer your money into US dollars, there are a number of different ways you can do it and it really does depend on the exchange rate at the time, how the companies are doing, the exchange rate, base rate changes can be different from day to day for the different companies. For example, I did this over the weekend and my results came back very different to how they are today um, and I'll explain that a little bit more at the end. So first of all one of the most popular ways is through PayPal. So here's a quick base example here that if I was to send a thousand British pounds into eToro PayPal would credit me with $1,325.33. Okay, so that's what I would get with PayPal and their conversion rate. Sounds pretty simple. And the way that I would get that is by simply deposit funds, click it to US dollars through PayPal. So it, PayPal would charge me, well, 13255. So if I wanted to add If I wanted to add one thousand pounds into my PayPal um, into my eToro account from PayPal, I would put that in like that. Click continue, and it would charge me around about a thousand pound. That would be with PayPal doing the conversion for me. Now, another two popular ways is transfer-wise. When you look at this difference here, uh, this is if you send a thousand. Great British pounds, you would get 1,396. So obviously already that's quite a big difference there. So we're talking about $70 difference, which is is quite a significant difference. Um, so that's transfer wise, and if you were going to do it that way, then there's also Revolt. And if you were going to send a thousand pounds through Revolt, you would get charged around you would get around about one thousand four hundred and one dollars now this can vary because there are different kind of packages so it means that if for example you were going to send slightly more uh, there would be a different fee uh, so you do need to check the exact amount of money that you're sending at the time but so far this is our best rate of one thousand four hundred and one dollars so that's Revolt, and if you were going to use Revolt, the way that you would be best to do this is to set up an account with them, load the money into your account, and then go to eToro and deposit funds, and you would do it through a um, credit or debit card, and you would put in your Revolt's credit card details. So that's the best result so far, 1,401. Now, if we were going to transfer 1,000 Great British Pounds into eToro, eToro would give us $1,398. So that is better than the transfer wise rate. That is better than the PayPal rate. But it's only $3 less than the revolt price and like I said the revolt price can change slightly as you go up through the different currencies so it is really really important that before you actually make any transactions and changes always check what exchange rate you're getting at the time now eToro used to have quite a bad exchange rate and it got quite a bad reputation and lots of people now have automatically started not using this and ignoring it. Um, now that it's changed, often it can be cheaper. Um, and like I said, when I did this over the weekend, 
this eToro rate was actually lower than the Revolt rate by a good margin as well. So for me, as far as I'm concerned, there's such a small, tiny difference there. That's $3 out of £1,000. So we're talking less than 0.3% uh, difference, which is so minimal it just doesn't seem to be worth the hassle. Uh, so in my opinion, unless you're unless you're converting hundreds of thousands of dollars, um, you'd probably be better off just using this account uh, and adding the funds straight in. Um, like I said, always do your own research. Check your check your rates before you send it, just to make sure that you are using the best system. Um, but this is the easy way to tell how much you would get with eToro. And obviously remember that if you do it this way, if you load your pound, your, your own currency into eToro, um, eToro will only charge your bank, your card. However, that that amount of your home currency, there won't be any conversion charges from your bank, etc. But it also means that then when eToro sends you money back, if you ask for a your, your funds back, they will send it back to the account that you've purchased with. Um, which, again, if you've got eToro to do the conversion, they'll convert it back. Um, so it's just something to consider there as well. Remember that they refund it back to the, the payment that you've made it with. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.